movie news. All right, so we have some interesting news to talk about involving the DCEU. So, the first spicy little bit of news is that Will Smith will not return for James Gunn's um, Suicide Squad sequel, which is interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. So, there's this tweet here from Just Justin Kroll. Will Smith exits Suicide Squad sequel after dates could not be worked out. Um, which is interesting. It makes me wonder if Will Smith somehow got out of this whole thing. Um, I don't know. Who knows what the behind the scenes thing is. Honestly, I feel like James Gunn would do really well with Suicide Squad. And I think he might do a pretty good job. But... It kind of makes me worry when I see things like this because first you had Ben Affleck leave um, the DCEU and now Will Smith seems like he's trying to get out of this as well. And it just, I don't know, makes me wonder if if there still isn't quite enough hope for the DCEU yet. Maybe maybe the, the bright end of the tunnel is not quite so bright yet. But who knows, maybe, maybe uh, this is just um, coincidence, maybe it just didn't work out, maybe that's the case, but, but you know, there's, there's always a question when it comes to this stuff, if there's something more going on behind the scenes. So, but James Gunn, I feel like would do a pretty good job with Suicide Squad, as long as Warner Brothers doesn't get their sticky little fingers involved too much in the, the behind the scenes stuff with this movie, which is always a possibility. We know that Warner Brothers loves to do that. They love to get really involved with the production of their movies and end up just kind of ruining them in the long run. Justice League, Batman v Superman, and the first Suicide Squad movie uh, movie are, are all just uh, great examples of this as well. So yeah, um, as far as 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 well as the uh, the Hobbit movies, the Hobbit movies were absolutely obliterated by Warner Brothers, which is still just depresses me to this day. But um, yeah. So, so who knows? The new Suicide Squad movie isn't going to have Margot Robbie in it either. So without, without Margot Robbie or Will Smith, which were kind of the only highlights of the first Suicide Squad movie, I make it makes me wonder what they're going to be doing with this Suicide Squad movie and if it's going to be any good. But you know, who knows? With that being said, we also have some interesting news that Aquaman 2 gets December tw 2022 release date, which is really far away actually <laughs> very far away but uh it's exciting that they have in the works i love the first aquaman movie i thought it was really well done and um it'll be interesting to see where they take the story next for aquaman i i love jason momoa i think he's fantastic and the first movie was just so much fun so it'll be interesting to see what happens we also have the uh the trench movie uh which is kind of like the spin-off of the trench from aquaman and works as well so it'll be interesting when we get more information about that and we might get a, a cameo from Aquaman in that movie as well. I can see that happening. So, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with all that. And with that being said, that is your DCEU news for the day. Movie news. I'm not, I'm not gonna make that a thing. Don't worry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rip off PewDiePie. But, uh, but yeah. With that being said, I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.